Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video showing you guys how to set up a height based fall damage system for multiplayer inside of Unreal Engine 4. This is completely logic based so you could replicate the exact same thing in Unreal Engine 5. So to get started let me just show you the final result of it. So as a client I'm gonna do it because on the server it's pretty easy to get it to work. So if I do this I lost a bunch of health and if I fall down again I lose a bunch more health and this is not based on the velocity it's based on the height and as you can see I died and I should respawn here so that's pretty much how it's gonna work I'll just walk you guys through it's pretty simple logic to be honest so I won't be doing it live but I'll be walking you guys through how you do it so basically I just have this collapse graph you could do it outside over here as well but the important part is just bind on reached jump apex so if you type in on reached jump apex you can bind an event or you could assign it does the same thing but what is important here is that this is supposed to be a server RPC so make sure you have this to run on server in the event settings here in the event details on the right hand side so just compile that then get the actor location then what you have to do is you have to right click split struct pin and promote that to a variable so promote to variable and then set that to the fall height now we'll be operating later on this to actually get the height difference now some of you guys might be wondering why i'm not doing it based on the velocity if you've played games like pubg you'll already know the reason so let's say you had a slope like this and let's say you fall down technically you're not hitting the surface head on so you shouldn't really be taking that much damage but because of the velocity at which you're falling you might take more damage so I don't know it's completely up to you both systems have their own advantages as well as disadvantages so once you're done with binding the delegates what I want you guys to do is set up the on landed event so just type in on landed now this event runs only on the player who controls it so if for example if I play as uh, two players and I just jump and when I land down this event actually runs only on the client so in that case it was client one so you'll need to call a server RPC so just make this event as well run on server uh, and just uh, name it call a check for fall damage now I have a separate event to actually handle the subtraction of health and stuff but you could do it right here as well no harm so take the fall height and we are doing all the calculation of the server just to keep things in sync so the fall height just subtract the fall height uh, with the current Z location of the actor so what this will give us is the height the maximum height at which the character had reached and by subtracting it we'll get the height difference of the ground basically or wherever we land and yeah guys sorry for the background noise that's probably the reason why I didn't record from the past few days then with this value this is where you actually tweak the amount of fall damage you wanted to give so I my health variable is set up uh, for values between 0 and 100 so if the jump height or the fall height is less than 350 it's going to be zero since it is clamped it's not going to return a negative value here because the outrange a is zero so nothing below zero will be returned and outrange b is 100 so nothing greater than 100 will be returned so you can adjust the values and uh, if you lower this basically even for a smaller height it's going to apply damage for you and if you increase this then you'll need to fall from a higher height to actually apply this much damage so basically you're mapping this range onto this range so let's say I'm mapping uh, 0 to 1 range onto a 1 to 2 range so in that case 0.5 is going to be equal to 1.5 something like that basically and for the fall damage I have a separate event set up but one more thing you'll need to do is call this event on movement mode change fortunately the engine comes with all of these things so you don't need to set them up yourself just uh, call on movement mode changed and when you call that so check if it is equal to falling 
and if yes just tick this uh, notify apex from the character movement component now the reason we are doing it here is because it's uh, disabled by default so notify apex can't actually edit this can only modify this at runtime so that's the reason we are doing it then what you guys will need to do is actually set up your logic now this is completely up to you this is specific to my game so i won't be going over that i'll just show you guys what i've done so i have a separate function which updates the health and determines if the player is dead or no so i've taken this as an input i just have it set up as a blueprint implementable event from c++ but you could just create a custom event and call that as well or you could have the logic uh, right inside of here either way it works so i update the health and then if the player is dead i just create the kill feed otherwise i just uh, show a hit widget to just show that he took damage and i just add one to the deaths that's basically it and here's the result guys so if you've done all that correctly if you go on top i'm doing this as a client because on the server it's pretty easy to get it to run so we are at 66 health let's say i fall down again now we are at 20 health now we are dead of course adjusting the damage values will give you a better result so that's basically it guys i hope this video was helpful and if it was make sure you guys do leave a comment down below and join my discord server if you guys have any questions or suggestions and i'll see you guys next time i hope you guys enjoyed goodbye